Welcome. This is Frank Cohen, founder at Push to Test. Thank you for spending 10 minutes of your time to learn about open source testing. Let's begin with the idea of repurposing. TestMaker comes with Selenium, SOAP UI, and unit test support integrated. I will record a test of a web application. The recording tool keeps track of each of the steps that I'm taking to operate this application, and it's building a test script for me automatically. I will play back this test in Firefox. Visual playback like this makes it easy to debug a test script. I will save the test in the native Selenese table format. I will then automate the operation of this test to run in TestMaker and run it as a functional test. Many times it takes a test orchestration tool like TestMaker to move a team from manual testing to automated testing. TestMaker shows me pass and fail and duration of each step in the recorded test script. I will build a test use case that operates multiple recorded test scripts. This makes it easy to break down my tests into easily maintainable components. When the application changes, I only need to change one test script. Data enabling these test scripts is fast and easy. I'm getting the login ID and password values for this test from a comma-separated value file. I just love that I'm testing a web application here, and I've yet to write a single line of code. I use the TestMaker Transformer to create a data-driven, multi-browser test. Yet the same system works for the unit tests that I write in Java, Ruby, Python, PHP, and c -sharp, just to mention a few. When I'm ready to repurpose a functional test to be a load test, I simply click here. TestMaker runs these tests as load tests at the level of virtual users I choose. It's the same for repurposing these tests into production monitors. I simply click here. The results logs are proof that I complied with a service level agreement, an SLA. I recorded the test in Firefox. 
and using the integrated Selenium RC technology, I play the test in Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, and Opera. I run the same recorded test in multiple operating environments. Now I rapidly identify compatibility on Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7 or Mac OS X and Linux platforms. TestMaker records each step of the test. The results show me the root cause of functional issues. TestMaker is a distributed test environment. That means I run tests on a grid of machines in my lab in a cloud computing environment or both. I use TestMaker grid technology to run tests in my QA lab. First, I identify a set of test nodes running in the QA lab. TestMaker automatically selects the available test nodes to deploy and operate the test. Here I identify the Amazon EC2 cloud in a test scenario. TestMaker creates the test nodes in EC2 instances. It runs the test, retrieves the results, and then it takes down the EC2 instances. These deployment options mean I have huge vertical and scalability to my tests. I've run tests up to 1 million virtual users on demand, and I test whenever I need to. I run my tests automatically now. When a developer commits new code, my continuous integration environment runs my test suite automatically. TestMaker works with Hudson and TeamForge, Bamboo, and Cruise Control. Test results like this show that I have a serious performance bottleneck in this application. I get to the root cause of the problem using TestMaker's results analysis engine. It produces 400 or more charts. I see that response time suffered as the level of load increased. I also see that CPU and memory utilization peaked at my high level of virtual users. Thank you for spending your time learning about open source testing. I hope this got your interest enough to try it yourself. TestMaker comes in two forms, the free TestMaker community product and the commercial TestMaker enterprise product. The enterprise product comes with advanced features, professional grade support, training, and services. Both are available at www.pushtotest.com. Slancha!